Last week was Christmas and we also got our garage and apartment build 100% dried in. The garage doors are installed, the side door is installed, and we got a decent start on the drywall down here. So we're still on Christmas break because New Year's Eve is in three days, which means Kaimani is available to help us during the day. That is a massive help because he is officially stronger than his mother now that he is 13 years old. So we're gonna get to work because we'd like to have this garage area looking like a garage before New Year's. Hop up there as it's going up, just make sure that that corner gets tucked as tightly as possible, okay? And if you see any hazards or anything, let me know. So for screwing a couple things, you see how all of these are just dimpled into the paper? You don't want to break through the paper, okay? That causes issues. And then how do we know where we're screwing here? How do we know where our joists are? The lines are screwed. Yeah, the lines. And then see on the other side how I made a mark in that beam there? That lets me know if okay, I screw straight up there and it should be good. make sure you stay on the line as much as you can. So I decided to drag Kaimani out here so that he could help Melissa and I with this drywall project. He doesn't have any homeschool this week, uh, has a week off, so it's more of a life skills homeschool session. It's an invaluable opportunity, I think, for him moving forward if down the road he decides that he wants to build his own home or just take on a small DIY project like a shed. I wanna make sure that he has a basic familiarity with some of the skills that he's gonna need. So squeaky. All right, while the guys are getting that second piece of drywall installed, I wanted to let you guys in on just what we've been dealing with with Kenji over the last week or two. Um, he's, he's not feeling good and he's losing a lot of weight. I know I'm talking about you and I woke you up. So you guys noticed in the last video that he was having difficulty standing and that he was really tucking his back end and that he had lost a lot of weight. Even with his winter coat on, you could see his vertebrae and his ribs. And we noticed it too the standing issue and the back legs being tucked is brought on by the cold he's got arthritis in his back hocks and when it's cold and it's damp out that really gets inflamed and and inside he doesn't do that at all so we've just been keeping him inside and warm even though he wants to be outside and patrolling and being safety inspector while it's cold he's gonna have to be inside but a uh, worst case scenario is the cancer that he was diagnosed with 18 months ago which is melanoma has spread and I mean, we know that that's a likely possibility, but and we need to get this figured out. And another possibility is that his kidneys are failing. He has a condition called Sharpe fever. It's unfortunately very common in the breed because they um, really abuse the breeding process to get the wrinkles on the Sharpe. And they were doing a lot of inbreeding and it led to this disorder. And at this point in time, I think it's about 50% of Sharpe carry the gene, unfortunately. So it leads to eventual kidney failure and the weight loss could be any of those three things or it could be something that we haven't even thought of yet. So the vet is closed for the holidays and they're not gonna be back until the day after um, New Year's, which is still three or four days away. So we're hoping that Dr. Burke can see him before then and we can get to the bottom of this. But um, if not, we're gonna get him in ASAP and try to figure out what is going on with our Kenji. Time steady turning like a spinning wheel I can't unfeel the way I feel It's out in my hands, it's a done, done deal There's nothing I can do about it now I can't go back, I can't unglue what I did So I already measured on the underside, I guess the top side now of the sheet, right? To find this box marked where that's at. We're gonna use this router tool. I'm gonna punch it right into the middle of the box, find where the perimeter is, work my way back outside of that, then go right around. Should make for a nice clean cut. All right, we are making progress and things are coming along. Okay, a little less than ideal. And we wanted to point out that we were actually doing this improperly. Last week with the garage door installation, we needed to make sure that we had drywall up on the ceiling for the guides for the garage doors. So we only got the front half done. And with our staggered seams, what we're now encountering and having to deal with and work around is we're basically plugging pieces into place rather than just setting rows, which keeps everything really nice and straight and linear. With that, we've had to be uh, making some minor little trimmings. Yeah. Here and there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely taking a lot longer, but we knew that going into it. We knew that we were going to run into that. We just didn't have time to do the entire ceiling. So 
We're making it work. It's a little bit slower, but we're getting it done. Oh, perfect. Okay, cut it now. Pull, pull, pull. So foggy out here. It looks like a January in Washington, not Idaho. Foggy and warm. No snow, but you still have eight coats on. Look at her. Eight my, coats still. It's my fog coats. All right, it is getting late and we just have one more piece to do before we are officially done drywalling half of the ceiling. <laughs> Doesn't sound that exciting. But Kaimani, did you have a good day? Yep. Did you really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What did you learn? That I don't like doing drywall. That does sound like you had a Me good neither. day. Dad doesn't like it either. All right, let's get the last piece up and go inside. Before we can get started today, Jeremy is building a box around that big, ugly black drain pipe. This is the drain pipe that goes up to the living space above the garage. The reason that we needed to run it through the garage and through the breezeway is because we are tying it into our existing uh, septic system. So we would have had to have dug a new septic system for the living space upstairs if we didn't run it this way. So we can easily solve the problem of it being kind of an eyesore by boxing it out, concealing it in drywall, and you won't even know it's there. All right, everything's straight, we're good to go. Let's get things cleaned up and then uh, start sticking more drywall on the ceiling, huh? Yay. Hooray. Yay. You stick this on my wood pile, por favor. Okay. Gracias, muy bien. Got no help today, mama. You're back to lifting. I know. Welcome back. Thank you. How's your vacation? <laughs> Okay, it is definitely time for a snack break and my Thrive Box just arrived. We get one of these weekly and they are always full of the best healthy snacks like my favorite corn nuts. We have been Thrive members for over three years now and Thrive has been so incredibly helpful for providing our family with organic and natural household and food items in the most convenient way ever. They offer an amazing selection of organic groceries, snacks, supplements, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, organic kids products, and more. So our family was eating a lot of really unhealthy these snacks and foods and I wanted to find a healthier alternative for the foods that they already love like pop tarts so I found these they are made with wild berry acai they are whole grains all natural organic so it's something I can feed them and actually feel good about and they love them thrive took all the guesswork out of cleaning up our diet because everything is so nicely organized on their site and you can filter the catalog of products by diet and lifestyle product type or even your favorite brands so whether you are gluten-free like Nevea, vegan or keto you can shop for what you need easily 
Living how we do, I just don't have access to healthy organic groceries like I used to, and with inflation and all the rising costs of groceries, healthy eating is becoming more and more difficult for all of us. Thanks to Thrive, I now have access to hundreds of products that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get. My absolute favorite part is I get to go grocery shopping from the convenience of my own living room, and my weekly order ships free right to my door with every order of $49 or more. I actually save about $70 every time that I shop with Thrive Market. So couple that with their ever-growing product list, they have kept us coming back for over three years. To sign up for Thrive Market, simply click the link down in our description below or go to thrivemarket.com slash goodsimpleliving and you are going to get 30% off your first order. Stock up on everything, that is a massive savings. Plus you will get a free gift worth up to $60 when you join Thrive Market today. Quick little break. For us, from all of this drywall, are you enjoying yourself with the drywall? No. And we are bringing back our <laughs> snack belt snack choice of the day. It has been a while. It has been a while, but the people have spoken and you guys wanted the snack belt back. So today is perfect because I got a snack box and I am grinding on some of this dried mango. So we wanted to talk while taking this snack break about our future plans here in the garage because there's been a lot of you asking out there. Um, the reason we haven't put a vapor barrier up in the ceiling, you wanna address that one real quick since that's become a very common question? Sure, so we didn't do a vapor barrier because we are treating this kind of like an indoor living space. It's going to be a heated garage and it's fully insulated. So there's not gonna be outside moisture or major temperature changes between the two, so. There will be a temperature difference, but it will be yeah. very minor and we're not concerned and maybe we're incorrect on this in the future, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, we're not concerned with any moisture build up, up in the ceiling cavities. Also at the end, the end caps on all of the uh, ceiling cavities, we have that spray foam that's been put in place. So it should be sealed up pretty nice. Also. Are you choking? A little bit, stuck in my throat. <laughs> we're gonna have a propane heater, just like Melissa mentioned, over in the far corner of the garage. We're hoping to keep this place around maybe 50 degrees-ish. And for the garage flooring, it is my dream that in the upcoming weeks or months here, we can put down a textured epoxy flooring. Ooh, this is wow. gonna be, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> this is gonna be a very uh, clean space. We're not gonna have a bunch of storage in here. It's my, again, my goal and my dream to have a very a kind of modern looking, clean garage space. All of our storage and everything will happen over in the shop. I just want cars in here ideally, maybe uh, some, a few tools here and there. For <laughs> Christmas decorations. No Christmas decorations. <laughs> Come on. Small woodworking projects may, maybe, so any, uh, it, things that I take on like that in here, I want to make sure that we protect our flooring and I have the ability at any point to just mop up or clean up any spills that may occur. Yeah, Jeremy just wants uh, white walls, white flooring, apparently no Christmas decoration. So nothing is allowed inside this garage except for two vehicles. Clean and bright is what we're going for here. So good snack, even though half of it is lodged in my throat. Do I need to go get that sucky thing that you stick over and then We're going to be good. Hopefully that addresses a couple of your questions. Oh, seriously. You were way out of practice with snack belt. You almost died. I'm going to get it down. Let's get back to work. <laughs> That's it. It's your spawn. Is there a tight one? Yeah. That worked. It wasn't graceful, but we got it there. That's very graceful. Here's your shadow. Here's you. Your pan action. Getting high off all that mango, huh? <laughs> okay, after you, more, more. Hey, what are you doing out here? You're supposed to be inside. You want the heater? There you go. There you go. We only have two more pieces to go, which is great news because Jeremy is beat. Beat, <laughs> absolutely beat. His shoulders are on fire, so he definitely needs to go sink in his hot tub tonight. So we just got a call back from Dr. Burt, and thankfully he can see Kenji bright and early in the morning. So we're gonna get him over there as soon as they open and hopefully, hopefully get to the bottom of what is going on with him. Ah, I believe in you.
I believe you can climb. Come on, Ken. Up. Up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not anymore. Don't eat that cat food while you're back there. Promise me. No promises. <laughs> you literally said no. All right, we have Kenji loaded up and we are on our way to Dr. Burt. So hopefully we can get some answers. He, uh, he likes going for a car ride, so it's always easy to get him there. But once he sees the building, sometimes he gets a little nervous. Okay. Uh, we're going to draw a little blood. Yeah. Uh, check his liver, check his kidneys. Okay. okay. Um, let's be honest. Yeah. He, he's like 90 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a lot of the, a lot of his weight loss is going to be muscle mass mm. weight loss. Yeah. Um, the the spine is going to become a little more pronounced because those ligaments, just like us, gravity over time is not our friends. Things start to to sag. Mm -hmm. Those ligaments on the back are going to start to sag. Plus, we start to lose that muscle mass around it. So the bones are going to become a little more prominent. Mm -hmm. um, they shouldn't be just sticking straight up spikes, but right. we're going to see, you know, we are going to see more of this as we go. So we are going to see a little more. Of this. So we've got the, the bone spurs growing right here. As we flex and turn, those are going to pinch nerves. Um, and then it looks like we may actually have some narrowing or stenosis. Mm -hmm. See how wide the black gaps are? Yeah. And then we get to this one, and it's there's not much black in there, and then we're back to white again and white again. Mm -hmm. so, there are some right things here. we can do to make him more comfortable. Okay. So we just left the vet's office, and we got a lot of clarity on exactly what it is that's going on with Kenji. Primarily, we received good news. His kidneys are functioning within a normal typical range which was good um, they took an x-ray of his body and they did discover that he actually has some pretty uh, what looked gnarly to me bone yeah. spurs coming off of some of his vertebrae which is probably what's causing him uh, a minimal amount of pain of course that's an assumption on our part yeah we don't really know he doesn't really seem to be in a tremendous amount of pain so that's uh, basically where we're at we have some stuff we're coming home with to hopefully combat and manage whatever pain he may be experiencing and uh it's good to know he's in decent health, no cancer, anything like yeah, that. Yeah, no cancer, no diabetes, no kidney failure. Those were the three things that we were worried about and we wanted to make sure we ruled out because we don't ever want Kenji to be in pain or discomfort, which the bone spurs are definitely causing a little bit of that. So we got an anti-inflammatory, a painkiller, and then we will go back and see if this is working. If not, we will look at getting him a cortisone shot. But other than that, they just said he's really old and he's going to be losing muscle mass and he's got arthritis and kind of is what it is so we we enjoy the time that we have left with Kenji. As we brought Kenji home with no real clarity as to how long we actually have left with him, I was reminded that we don't always get to know these things and there is both beauty and pain in that. The mysteries and the worries of tomorrow so often demand our full focus. But the reality is that today is all we really have. It's right here, right now, and it deserves our full attention. Because if we're always waiting on something that hasn't even happened yet, we'll miss the best parts of life. All of those beautiful little things that we used to hope for. <laughs> He's so excited about the fireworks. Oh, he gets excited. You love the fireworks, Kenji? You're the weirdest dog. You're the only dog in the world that likes fireworks. <laughs> <laughs>